Good morning, guys. Um, I've got uh, an interesting little project. This is uh, this is uh, something on how to use a machine for for what it's not intended to be. <laughs> As you can see, I'm taking my mill, turn the head sideways, and put a grinding wheel on it. Now, I've uh, I also made another little piece for my, uh, my little sp my spinning index fixture. I've loosened the collar back here, which allows me to uh, move it in and out. And uh, that way you can spin it around. But what also I've done is I made a little probe for my, my vise, and that's just the back side of it. And I just uh, trimmed it down on the end and center drilled it. And that's actually a piece of uh, drill bit that I've uh, cut off and rounded the end of. And what that allows me to do is take a mill and index it right on the flute and then give it a slow turn staying in contact with the flute and it'll it'll follow it all the way in. And uh, with the grinding wheel running I am sharpening end mills. So after you get back and out of the way turn it, bring it over to the next one Drop it on the pin and roll it in. Uh, right now I'm pulled away from the grinding wheel so it wouldn't hit so I could demonstrate this. And I've got it set up so it comes to a stop. I've got that stop and collar at the back so you just turn it till it bumps and stops and your grinding's finished. So that'll grind the flutes on a, on a four uh, on a four flute end mill. I'm going to play around with two flutes and actually six flutes. I don't know whether my little probe is going to get in uh, behind the flute for a six flute. But uh, this is what I came up with to, uh, to sharpen end mills. And that's a, I mean, that's a pretty expensive end mill. I had a whole bucket of dead end mills that I've been playing with. There's a six. I'm going to try that. Here's another four, just like one, the one that's on the machine. And you can see the tips of them are pretty bad. Let's see if it'll focus on that. And the flutes aren't terrible. They could use a little cleaning up. But uh, and here's, a, here's a two flute. Ooh, the end of that one's just dead stick. So I I don't have any trouble sharpening the ends. It's the uh, flutes when they get cobbled up. It's get kind of hard to deal with. Ooh, that one's not much better. Looks like I was having a bad day. That's uh, that's nasty. Okay, and I got a few more little ones in here. This is my this is my dead end mill bucket. That one might be kind of interesting. Oh, I remember that job. That uh, I spun it up a little too fast. I was on some uh, 4130. I thought it was uh, annealed, but it turned out to be pre-hardened. And uh, twisted up the machine pretty fast and just dove in for a cut. And it just melted. The, it work hardened instantly. Shot a bunch of hot lava out of the mill. And that sucker was done. No, I remember that day. That wasn't a good day. So, yeah, I switched to carbide, if I do recall. So, um, that's something else you can do with your uh, Spindex. Um, kind of neat. Doing the face of them, I'm sure you guys already know how to do. But that little probe back there, um, mounted on your vise, very little modification to your, to your vise. I've just got the Spindex sitting up on parallels in the vise. And then the probe is the only thing that I had to make for it. Everything else is bone stock on that spindex. Oh, I, with the exception of, I have drilled and tapped four holes in the base. Uh, I do have another 90 degree angle plate fixture that I bolt that to, to mount it either vertically or horizontally off to the side. Um, it's actually this plate right here that I use. Um, I, I do bolt this to the table. And then the, the spindex will fit in 
uh, on these four holes and I can either mount it horizontally or tip it up vertically so that's a pretty cool little thing that I can uh, just bolt down to the table just a quick down and dirty but uh, yeah I think with some playing I can get this uh, Styled in a little better, but I'm really enjoying the way that follows those flutes and and uh, made that grind. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, what you can see is all the dust and everything that I've been creating here. Uh, cover up your machine. I got rubber mats all over this thing right now, just protecting the machine. Uh, that aluminum oxide is just nasty you don't want to get this in your ways don't want to get it anywhere in your machine don't use any air cover it up real careful pull up your mats take them outside wash them off you know use a shop vac suck it all up but keep keep the dust uh, the aluminum oxide dust out of your uh, uh, out of your mill you'll really tear it up so that's that's just a warning you don't want to destroy your machine just because you want to do a little grinding and save a little money but, uh, all right.